Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to create button functions in Flash Professional CS6. So first, you, all you want to do is open ActionScript 3.0. Select a shape, whatever shape you'd like. So I'm going to select a rectangle. This shape will act as a button. So you want to select the selection tool, the top right corner, and highlight it, and convert to symbol. You need to convert it to a symbol to create it into a button. So give it whatever name you like, and I'm going to call it a rectangle. And make sure this is a button. and then click OK and now it's a button over here in the properties manager you want to give it an instance name so I'm going to call it rect button and now I'm going to frame 50 and insert inserting a keyframe. So once this button is clicked, it is going to go to frame 50 and stop. And I'm going to show you how to do that in ActionScript. So go to frame 1 and left click and go to actions. And now you see this panel show up. This is where you type in all your ActionScript. So for beginners, I would use code snippets. Once you click on it, this whole easy action script tool kit shows up. So this allows you to create action script very easily. So um, I'm going to create for this for this video. I'm going to choose this one. This is what exactly what I want to do. So I'm going to double click on it and this comes up. If you don't know what action script is or how it looks like, well, this is not the video for you. But uh, this is for the basics people. So this defines w exactly what the action script is going to do. So once the button is clicked, it's saying it'll go to frame 5 and stop but I'm going to show you in the, how, how to do it from the beginning I'm going to go step by step with you so I'm going to go to open I'm going to go to 1 line 1 and delete that whole thing and I'm going to type in the code so I'm going to press I'm going to type in stop which is saying that it's going to stop at frame 1 until the user actually does something so stop and I'm just gonna skip two lines or you can even skip one line but I'm gonna skip two and I'm gonna type in the objects instance name the buttons instance name so over here as you see the buttons instance name is rect button so I'm gonna go back to that action script I'm going to type in rect button so that it notices that you're actually defining this button. I'm going to type in rect button. And after this, you have to copy exactly what I'm doing to do the same thing. So rect button add event. Listener parentheses mouse event and if you don't know what I'm doing it's okay but you have to do this exact same thing to do what it, what I'm gonna do over here so mouse event period click actually this has to be in capital so click 
comma and now whatever I'm going to type over here just defines this whole line so I'm going to type in um, you can give it whatever na name you want so I'm going to say um, rectangle rectangle mm, one All right rectangle one that's good enough and then close parentheses and semicolon semicolon basically ends the whole sentence like in a normal sentence a period ends a sentence but in this action script a semicolon does so I'm going to go to the next line and now I'm going to type in function and after the function I'm going to type in whatever I put over here and now I'm going to type in rectangle 1 and then after that I'm going to do a space parentheses do exactly what I'm doing event colon that's not a semicolon that's just a colon colon and this shows up and you can go to mouse event close parentheses and now you see it imports some frameworks into this project colon you know put a colon there and say void you don't have to worry about what I'm doing what it means just put it and now I'm going to put a bracket in a bracket this means that whatever goes inside that bracket is what is going to happen so I'm going to type in go to and stop you can say go to and play which means at frame 50 or whatever frame you choose which I'm going to show you how to do it's going to play and keep on going to 51, 52, 53 and so on if you say go to and stop it's going to just stop at frame 50 and not play so I'm going to say stop at frame 50 and that's all you have to do and I'm going to show you after this what is going to happen in frame 50 so I'm going to save it and save and once it's saved all you want to do is uh, quit this and at frame 50 as you see we made a free uh, we made a keyframe and at frame 50 what we're going to put is just random stuff all right that's random enough that's random enough and now uh, we're going to go back to frame 1 And now we're gonna test this. So we wanna go to control, no, yeah, control, test movie, test. And now once you click on the button, it's gonna go to frame 50 and stop. So this has been a lesson on how to create functions to a button. Please subscribe to make uh, so I'll make more videos on tips on Flash Professional. And thank you very much.